I am not at all surprised that many two-wheeler and even four-wheeler manufacturers are releasing their own electric vehicles. And now it's time for the newest entries in the market by a well-known Swedish motorcycle maker, Husqvarna. They have shown off their brand new electric scooter concept with a beautiful looking electric motorcycle. The scooter is called the Vector with a K and a double R and the motorbike is called the E-Pillar or e-pilot not sure how exactly it's pronounced so let's see what these new electric vehicles are really capable of shall we so this is Pawan and I insist tech let's get started Husqvarna has not had a very huge presence on Indian roads yet but I've seen Quite a lot of 250cc models, usually owned by youngsters and college goers, you know, because of its youthful and futuristic design language and good performance with a lightweight frame. But times are changing now, it's 2021. As always, this company has also decided to make their own EVs too. Firstly, let's see what's with the electric scooter, the Vector. As this is still in its conceptual phase, we still don't have a detailed spec sheet yet. Only some major details here and there. The design looks, should I say, classy, more like a clean, minimal design, very futuristic, comes in the brand's iconic color scheme. The headlamps are classic round, the wheels are well sized for a scooter of this kind. Well, that said, their site claims that the scooter can do a top speed of just 45 km per hour and the range is about 95 km per full charge. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what were they thinking when they were releasing this detail to the public. I know it's still in the development phase, but if they still decide to push the scooters with this same uh, spec details, I don't think many are gonna buy it. Sure, Husqvarna fanbase will uh, not think a lot about buying this scooter, but what about the mass market? I understand that they are selling this as a personal urban transport vehicle, but when the competitors are providing much better range and performance for a similar price or even lesser price, they should probably work on this more before even thinking about releasing it to the public. Which I think because of the recent news of Ola electric scooters, they're already in works about this. Apart from the top speed, I'm kind of okay with the range because most of the urban transit happens under 95 kilometers. So that shouldn't be a huge problem to most of the people. Expected to release uh, somewhere around the first quarter of 2022, for the price of 1.3 lakh Indian rupees. We have to wait and see what exactly we're getting for the price we pay to get an exact picture of how the scooter is and how the scooter is gonna perform. The next entry is this, the e pillin and the one that I'm actually interested in. This motorcycle looks similar to the Swat pillin which is their 250cc motorbike, pretty much the same dimensions and the look is pretty much the same but it's electric. A concept still has an 8 kilowatt motor and can give a range of 100 kilometers per charge. And apparently Husqvarna has decided to go with the subscription model for the battery where you subscribe to the battery and not own it full time. This model might or might not work here in India so they might have to think about some other way for the battery to sell the bike in the country. The 100 km range is good enough because their target market are urban commuters and not long drive customers. You still don't know how much capacity these batteries can hold as these vehicles are still under development phase, both the scooter and the motorbike. So we still don't have a lot of information or pretty much no information uh, about it. One thing I can tell is these batteries are removable and swappable. So the whole point of this might be appealing to Indian consumers except the subscription models and also this can save a lot of charging time and can be a matter of time saving and convenience. But the bike looks really cool like someone straight took it out of a game world. I am really excited to see these on Indian roads when it launches later in 2022 for an estimated price of 1.3 to 1.5 lakhs. So what's the outcome? What can we expect from these new fancier electric two-wheelers? The e pillin I like it. I think it will take off as a good alternative for our normal 125cc to 150cc motorbikes in the country. If and only if they decrease the price from 1.5 lakhs to 1 to 1.1 lakhs to the maximum. You will have the advantage of riding a futuristic looking electric vehicle for a way cheaper daily running cost. And with its lighter frame, you'll also have amazing handling performance in 
traffic in Indian cities. And what about the scooter? Do I recommend waiting for it and going for it for what it has to offer for the price? I mean, as of now, no, because that 45 kmph top speed doesn't cut it for the price and the range is okay if you really want to buy it, but the mass market isn't really ready for it, especially when there are the competitors um, offering the best range numbers for similar price. I mean, again, it depends on if they want to target the masses or enthusiasts. So we might have to wait and see what the scooter has to offer after the actual official launch of it in 2022. This was a very short video about these two newer entries in the electric vehicle market. Which one did you like? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the whole video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, this is Pawan, signing out.